you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, uh, thanks for dropping in and hello if it's your first time. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, basically, um, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, just been busy with work and um, also I'm looking forward to the, uh, the dyno, um, which should be on Tuesday coming. So pretty much just waiting to get that all sorted and uh, see what the outcome of that is where I'm testing the uh, bike um, with the standard can the Acropovic with the DB killers in and the Acropovic with the DB killers out. Um, just for a bit of fun, uh, nothing too serious. Uh, just see how it all stacks up against the uh, the book specified horsepower and, and torque basically. Um, so yeah, that's on, uh, I think it's Tuesday coming. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, when that comes, I'll put out a video a few, few days later after that. Um, anyway, I don't know if you've noticed, but the weather's been pretty crap lately here in England, in the UK. Um, but basically, this bike has only ever been cleaned, uh, not treated, uh, straight from the dealers, straight home. Beautiful hot weather we've had lately, and it's not really seen any rain um, until potentially recently, where we've had nothing but rain. Um, now, it's a very big investment. Um, like I say, base price of this bike is about 15 grand. Um, and then you start adding all the bits and pieces. You could pay up to nearly 20 grand with all the optional extras. Now, I, as a habit, always treat my bike uh, with anti-corrosion. Um, I mean, this kind of video I'd normally do kind of like over the winter period where you, know, you really need it. But at the end of the day, with all the quirks and potential electrical woes that these new models might experience particularly like the switch gears which a few of my i don't call them subscribers friends like-minded bikers out there that are watching this is that yeah some of you have already had failed switch gears because of uh, water ingress corrosion god knows what have you um whatever other little uh, gremlins are in in this new bike that are waiting to kind of surface um i thought it'd be a good idea to just quickly go over um, what I do anyway to, to treat my bike. Now, some of you already know this stuff, um, mainly aimed at some of the people that you know, aren't aware of the, of the good stuff that's out there. Now, I've tried different stuff, and my old faithful, I'm just going to cut to the chase, is ACF 50. Um, this stuff is aircraft grade stuff, you can spray it on metals, plastic, electrical parts. Um, and it basically stops corrosion, prevents it, and also, uh, if it's already corroded, kind of reduces it a little bit. It, by, it's called anti or anti, depending on where you come from, anti-corrosion spray. Um, you can get it in this aerosol, which to be honest, it's not my favorite choice, but it does the, does the job, but it's quite a thick, it sprays okay, but when it's cold, it can be quite, uh, you know, very viscous, quite thick, uh, not thick, but syrupy. Um, and when you spray it from a cold can, you're not really getting the uh, the best kind of application. It does kind of, can go everywhere. It doesn't matter if it does, it doesn't matter if it goes everywhere, but um, you are kind of wasting it. Um, you can get the same in a, it comes almost like a, uh, you know, one of those, glass bottles that you, you you see acid in you know from the chemist um like refill so you can get a uh, i think it's 500 mil um, and you get one of these empty little spray things that come with it sellotape together um, where you can top this up with that bottle it's much cheaper to brine that volume um, but to be honest that kind of volume should last you a lifetime um, and again best to warm it up a bit whether it's in this or in this so it's a lot more watery and you can spray it a lot easier uh, and basically you're not going to waste it as much and you're not going to get it everywhere but you probably will get it everywhere anyway um, this stuff keep away from your brake discs uh, and tires because um, it is really really slippy stuff um, just a word of warning um, now the other way which I'll go which I'll, I'll show you in this little clip um, is how I apply it I've just got a cheap air compressor and I just fill this, I mean, my air compressor, I think it's about 80, 90, 90 pound or something like that, but I've got it for life and I can use it for spraying fences, 
Uh, I can use it for attaching um, in tire inflator hoses. It's got comes with everything. I'll I'll show you my kit in a bit, but um, yeah, again spray this stuff in here or if you just got one of these which i've only got one of these at the moment i just fill this up let it warm up in the sunshine and then uh yeah just spray as much as possible and all the nooks and crannies you'll get everywhere you want to by applying it with an air compressor but not everyone's got space for an air compressor i totally appreciate it. this has only been like a recent purchase for me um but all, all the years I've been riding, basically, I've just been making do with this and a few microfiber cloths. Um, I think it's not cheap. It's about £14 from memory. I don't know. You can check it in Amazon. Um, but uh, And there are other stores you can get it from. Um, but, uh, yeah, good stuff. Now, for winter, I don't think many people use this or know of it. But ACF, the guys that make ACF 50 make corrosion block grease now this one's aircraft grade stuff this one's marine grade um literally i put this on everything that's silver and exposed um, everything that's silver anything that's electrical um if i'm riding through complete winter because i ride 365 days a year um it doesn't look pleasant after a few weeks or a few days of riding in harsh weather because it does collect stuff, but it will not be penetrated. This stuff, yeah, I'm not going to put my finger in it. It's just like a thick, gunky blue grease, uh, which has got, you know, pretty much a similar spec of this stuff, but it's just a lot more hardy. Hence, it is a uh, marine grade. Um, Google it, check it out, see what you think, but. I'll show you at some point my older bikes that I got rid of with like 80,000 miles, 100,000 miles, and they still look more or less brand new. Um, and that's with year round riding through winter, snow, salty roads, um, because of this stuff. This stuff doesn't get washed off as easily as this stuff. I mean, this stuff doesn't wash off. You can get by through a few you know, weeks of rain riding um, and not have to reapply it. But this stuff is really good for winter. Um, put this on cake it on all the silver parts the bolts um, adjusters on the ham on the on the levers anything that you think is got you're worried is going to corrode put this on over winter and oh, I've even put it on uh, spoke uh, ends the nipples at the ends uh, where, you, where they meet the rib just just basically cover everything lightly I use a brush a little brush and uh, Try and get over, because my OCD gets in the way, try and get over the fact it is going to look awful uh, after a few days. But when the season changes, um, boy, it's just going to be like a brand new bike off the dealership forecourt again. So that's just what I look forward to. Um, looks horrible, but works bloody awesome. Um, these two in combo, these two in combo, yeah, I'll be surprised if, uh, I mean, yeah, I'll be surprised if you get any corrosion. And like I say, there are other brands, but these are the, they're pretty much the go-tos. Um, yeah, okay. So don't get none of that stuff on the uh, tyres or brake discs or basically anything that's, you know, uh, a lifesaver um, on the bike, on the handlebars, on the levers, because you don't want them to slip off. Um, I always cover my wheels and brake discs with a uh, fabric of some nature um, and, and just spray the hell out of the bike. Plastics, bolts a lot um, and then just wipe it down wipe the excess off after a few minutes once it's settled in and uh, just like dry the bike off with the microfiber cloth and there's no need to get like bike shine or what a shine protect and shine which I think is another motor X product I mean I've used pretty much everything over the years but basically as long as you've got a can of ACF 50 you don't really need anything else that's my opinion. You want to go out there, or if you've got your own, you know, uh, habits, you like a bit of this for that and a bit of this for that, plastic for your plastics and metals for your metals, then go for it. But this stuff does the job. Um, okay, so uh, I'll just run up this little clip. Um, like I say, it's just a, a bit of a filler because I'm a bit bored and um, 
we've got a ton of rain coming lately and I'm, I'm just going to be start using my, I have to use my bike and uh, I just want it treated before I uh, start taking it out into the, into the rain. Um, so anyway, here you go. Right, this is that little, uh, well little, this is my air compressor. Um, because I've got space, I chose, it's not a massive one and it's not a small one, it's a 50 litre. Um, it comes with a, a little air gun, which is useful after you wash the bike. You can just spray, use compressed air to spray off all the water and damp bits uh, to clear them from all the nooks and crannies. Just uh, attach that to this. A uh, tire inflator with the uh, pressure gauge, just like at the uh, petrol stations. Won't need to visit one of them again. And uh, one of these little adapter uh, spray guns. You can use this for your ACF 50 and you can have a nice fine mist uh, of ACF 50 just basically going all over the bike. Um, or you can use it to spray fences with creosote or fence paint. Um, very useful. Once you've got it, you've got it for life. So I find it very useful uh, to have in the garage. Um, yeah, so this clip is just a few just a few uh, examples of uh, how I'm treating my bike before I expose it to the elements. Um, and that's that. <clears throat> now, you can get this in a proper uh, refill kind of bottle, um, but I'm okay just using this straight out the aerosol can and just filling this up a little bit. Try not to get it in your face. Okay. Also helps to have this slightly warm because it's quite a thick substance. When it's warm, it's, it runs like water. It's much better to apply. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> try and get it into all the uh, nooks and crannies. Now just leave that settle for a, you know five minutes or so just let it to soak in and uh, when if it starts to cool it will go slightly gloopy uh, just get a uh, microfiber cloth um, and just wipe over the wipe off the excess um, it will leave a clear 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 film um, that will basically protect your bike from corrosion well after you've done that um, and you start the bike up for the first time it will smoke like uh yeah like anything um because once this stuff is over sprayed onto any of the exhaust which you will get it everywhere um it will just smoke and smoke but once it's burnt off within a minute or two um you'll be absolutely fine and the bike is protected so um that's the end of that little clip um next one will be after i've had the dyno so i'll catch up with you then see you later